Early access provided by EA Fire Monkeys. Presented by EA Game Changers. The Brilliant Backyards update has brought with it a new live event. The Brilliant Backyards live event. I know it says 17 days, but the actual time limit for this event is nine days. I'm gonna firstly walk you through the goals. The goals are the same as they usually are for live events, but in the early access version, it was slightly different as it was slightly more progressed. But we still had some of the goals and any ones that aren't there, I will still talk about. This event is quite similar to the Backyard Beautification live event as it has similar prizes such as like planters and items that are similar but just a different style. So the first task, but I don't have this, is place a crafting station. I don't have this goal myself because it is already placed in this house. You can find the candle station that you need to place first in the events tab of the home store. Place it in your house to complete this task. Make some arts and craft items. So this one appears for me. To complete this you need to click on the candle station and select make 50 candles. The first time it will take you 23 seconds. Once they've finished making the candles, a bubble with the candle will appear above their head. Click on this and it will take you to the event button in the corner of the screen, which shows you the prize progress. So at the top of the screen you'll see a bar. On your game, only the first bit will be filled up, the part up to the pretty planters part. So this unlocks the pretty planters. But on the early access version you can see the whole bar is already filled and most of the prizes have already been purchased. This is just so I can complete the video quite quickly. I'd just like to say this does not give me a head start in my own game. This is not my own game. In my own game I'll have to start from the beginning like everyone else. This is just so I can create a post and video early. Restock a crafting station. To do this we need to click on the candle station and select one of the options. You can either restock it for 18 uses. This is instantly but it will cost you 10 social points or you can restock it two uses. This will take 10 seconds, but it will be free. After this time, it will take longer to restock. Buy the Pretty Planters pack. Now, this has already been done on my game, so this goal doesn't appear for me, but you need to click on the event button in the corner of the screen, scroll down and click purchase. This will cost you your 50 candles that you made earlier. Once you've done this, click on the green back button to go back and complete this task. Use a coin flower patch. Firstly, you need to buy one from the event tab of the home store. I've already got one placed in my garden. For you, when you click on it the first time, the spin plant will be free. For me, it isn't because the progress on the early access version is ahead of what it would normally be at this point. After the first time, it will cost you 450 candles to use the spin plant. The other option is the mega spin plant. This one costs 25 social points but you will earn more constructor coins by using that one. Check the daily goals. Click on the birdhouse event button in the corner of your screen and go to the first tab. This one is daily goals. Claim any ones you can right now and remember to check back throughout the day to earn your extra 20 constructor coins by completing all the daily goals. Once you've claimed all the ones you can right now, click on the green back button to go back and complete this task. Collect bonuses. To do this, you need to have your sim use the candle station. Select one of the options on it. If you are gonna be out all day, then I suggest you pick a longer option. But if you can do the two and a half hour option, then it is recommended that you do that as much as possible to earn as many resources as possible. The more arts and craft items you make, the more prizes you will unlock, and the more of those arts and craft items you can use to buy the prizes that you have unlocked. After a while, a candle will appear above your sim's head. This is the bonus. While we're waiting for the bonus to appear, we're going to check out the prize that you earn if you buy all of the other prizes in the time limit. The prize for this live event is the Brilliant Backyard House. Let's have a quick look around. On first glances, it looks very, very similar to the one in the Backyard Beautification live event. And if you're thinking that too, then you would be right. It seems to be exactly the same as the one in that live event, apart from obviously the different planter items and the items that you win in this live event or in the garden. Everything else is exactly the same. I think that's a bit of a letdown. Someone hasn't really put any effort into that. I have created a house tour of the brilliant backyard house. If you would like to see that, then the link is in the description of this video. But in all fairness, you could probably just check out the Backyard Beautification house tour and 
you'd get some idea of what it looks like. How disappointing. Let's head back and see if the bonus is ready yet. And you can see the candle has appeared above her head. Click on this to collect the bonus and complete that task. Continue collecting items. The event is not over yet. You need to keep collecting your arts and craft items to unlock all the prizes and then be able to buy all the prizes. I'm going to buy the last two prize packs we have on here. So we have outdoor cooking left and brilliant bar. I'm going to click purchase on the brilliant bar one as we have enough resources for that. Now we don't have enough resources for the outdoor cooking one at the moment. It says get resources 101 social points. But if we just collect some more constructor coins from the spin plant, we'll be able to complete it without using social points. So I had to spin quite a few times, but this is the last spin and it's a good one. 12 coins, brilliant. We can now go back to the event tab and purchase the outdoor cooking one. I'm not gonna claim the beautiful backyard house yet. I'm gonna show you the items that we have unlocked first. These are all in the outdoor section of the home store. You'll find a lot in the planters section as well as the outdoor furniture and decorations. I'm not going to read out all of them, I'm just going to show you what they look like. If you'd like more detailed description of all the prizes, then please read my post for this live event. You can find the link to that in the description of this video. The items from the previous live event, Backyard Beautification, are also here, but they are not free. So the ones we're looking out for are the free ones. These are the prizes from this live event. Keep watching to see my sim using some of these items. This is the garden I've created using the items from this live event. I have created a tour of that garden, so if you'd like to check that out, you can find the link in the description of this video. Annoyingly, the patio quest was not completed on the early access version, so no patios unfortunately, so it does look a bit odd but I did the best with what I had. Most of the items do work very similar to the ones in the previous live event. So you've got the pizza oven that still works the same, the planters work the same and so on. Oh, that barbecue is a bit out of sync. She's going to throw that steak on the floor at the minute. And she walked all the way around the outside of the garden to eat. It's very tiring touring a garden. If you found this video helpful, please like it and please subscribe to my channel. You can find all the videos for this update in my brilliant backyard update playlist. I also have a blog, thegirlgames.blog, and on there you can find all of the posts for this update and loads of other posts about The Sims Freeplay. Thanks for watching, bye.